What's going on guys, Fickle here, welcome to today's video where we're going to be going over the Age of Triumph Weekly Rituals livestream that has just happened, giving you all the key info in a more condensed format to my usual videos. If you enjoy, please leave a like below and obviously subscribe for more. So let's jump in, there's a lot to cover. So today's livestream gave us some key insight into what we'll be doing the first week of Age of Triumph. So I'm going to start off with probably the biggest negative, the Eververse Trading Company. Eververse will have a presence in Age of Triumph through Treasures of Ages. These packages will contain any items introduced through live events through Eververse. So it will be your last chance once again to try and get that adorable fucking ghost ghost which RNG Jesus didn't really bless me with last time. New ornaments were also revealed through Eververse. These ornaments were Undiscovered Country for No Land Beyond, Devour of Moons for Necrochasm, Chrono Shot for Vex Mythoclast, Settled Score for Touch of Malice, Tiger Shark for Dragon's Breath, Perfected Predator for Lord of Wolves, and Basilisk's Glory for Surus Regime. Now we weren't shown these physically and there is still no word on Pocket Infinity but I'm sure we'll be shown them in next week's live stream. New Triumph Armor Shaders and Ships were also talked about but not shown so again maybe next week. But it was also confirmed none of these items or stock silverless will carry over into the Destiny 2 launch. So you better blow your silver while you can, as it's your last opportunity. They're also upgrading the silver disc kiosk, they're revamping it to have 5 pages now, and also a bunch of new cool engrams for a more direct approach, as Deej did say it was a problem in previous live events. It looks like a quest line provided by the speaker is going to give us narrative and guide us through this live update, alongside the 13 page record book. Quest appears to start by introducing us to the weekly story playlist. This playlist will contain quest chains for various periods of Destiny, like the vanilla game Dark Below, Taken King, and things like that, and offer legendary rewards and a treasure of ages. Other changes to weekly activities came with the Nightfall. Apart from the return of Flaming Heads and the Nightfall XP boost, yes, I let that sink in, the new Daybreaker modifier was shown off which will contain all epic modifiers and increase ability recharge which will apply to your supers, melee attacks and grenades similar to the Mayhem playlist in Crucible and I can tell you from the gameplay we saw it look chaotic. The Daybreaker modifier is going to be available one in every four weeks launching the first week of Age of Triumph. However there is going to be a six week period spanning from July and August as yet undated that is going to have the modifier switched on at all times, which is going to be very fun and very manic, I cannot wait. But speaking of Crucible a few minutes ago, to do with Mayhem, bit of a weak segue I know, Shaxx will now have two weekly Crucible bounties. So that's a bit of PvP relief for those that thought this update was going to be 2 PV centric. But these bounties did seem to be both 6v6 game modes, I don't know if that's going to be the case every week, but it did seem that way. There will now also only be one featured Crucible playlist in the Director to make room for Challenge of Elders, although it hasn't made it clear if the Crucible playlists will still be available, things like the Daily. So, very interesting, that also will lower the player pool into less playlists, which means the game might feel a little bit more alive, even when not many people are playing. But did someone mention Challenge of the Elders? A little bit of a stronger segue there. Well, it appears Challenge of Elders is making its return, although virtually unchanged, it will provide legendary tier awards and be 390 light and be in the director so a bit more of a weekly activity. It will not provide matchmaking like I thought it would, it will be a cooperative activity providing some sort of LFG. So that's about it for this live stream. If you like more of this scripted format, uh, please leave a like and, and tell me below. Also subscribe for more regular Destiny content. Only, only one live stream left now which will be covered similarly to this, similarly it will be covered similar. Oh my god! We covered similarly to this. So if you want to be notified for that, hit the bell end. By that, of course, I mean the bell. And also follow me on Twitter to stay updated, as I feel this upcoming live stream is the most exciting. I think we're going to get a cheeky look at those ornaments and maybe even a look at that raid gear they've been keeping so tight-lipped about. And I'm really intrigued to see if we will be getting Pocket Infinity. And also to see what changes they're making to exotics, as eagle-eyed viewers of the stream would have noticed that Twilight Garrison is now compatible with shaders. Yes, that's right, it's a fucking horrible exotic, that's why I never use it. But between now and next week, I have some cool videos planned that I think you'll enjoy. So, subscribe for them, lots of subscriptions. Thank you for watching, check out some of the videos in the outro and the description, if you know around here. Don't know what that voice was, and I'll see you in the next one. 
Holy shit, this video is really small when I script. I might have to start doing that, although it does take a long time. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.